Welcome everyone to another episode on our channel. You have seen this guy already. I put him together for you from beginning to end. I just added a couple more things that I thought might be interesting to you. I have a radio that comes from here, the thing he talks through to where he receives the information. It's attached down here. And then I put on a carabiner and some flex cuffs. You may not be able to see because they're actually black, but there they are. Now I think you can actually see them in terms of the light reflection. So I just wanted to use that as a precursor to something I put together today. I finally got some things I had been waiting for and actually put them together um, this morning. So let's pause and I'll get him set up and we'll look him over. So we're back and I wanted to show you what I did this morning. I actually received in the mail some items I had been waiting for. I had Morgan Freeman lying around for some time and I really wanted to do something special with him. And at first I thought I might put him in the Batman trilogy. And then I thought, you know, there's a couple other movies I like tons better. Some of you may have loved the Batman trilogy series, but I really like driving Miss Daisy, but there's no way I'm going to be able to find a Miss Daisy, so that's not going to work. So I thought I could just use him as a representative of the movie Glory, which was a fantastic movie. So I this morning I, I've got the pieces I had ordered from Zirkov's attic in, and I put the Union jacket on him. It should be slightly longer, but you kind of have to work with what you have. The light blue pants were great. Now, since he's a sergeant major, I do need dark blue lines on the side of the pants, but uh, pretty much he's about 90% complete. So I still have some work on him to do, but I'm getting there. I love the jacket, I love the pants. I was able to find from the same place a um, Civil War U.S. belt and a sheath for a bayonet that comes out. You can see the bayonet here, which attaches to the musket. It's not appropriate to the movie. The bayonet sheath looked a little bit different, but this was a sheath that was used in the Civil War. So until I can create something more appropriate for the movie, I'll live with this one. The musket is, is, is great. There is a percussion cap pouch here and a cartridge pack to the side that you'll see when we turn him around. So, oh, I should mention the cap or the hat. This was actually originally a Confederate hat. The Union ones that Zirkov had on his um, eBay site were actually plastic. They just didn't have appeal to me. I liked the cloth one better. And the only one that was made out of cloth was a Confederate hat. So I got that one and painted it to match the Union jacket. And I think that worked out fairly well. It may not be a perfect match, but I think it works. So let me uh, start turning them around so you can see more. The other thing I tend to do, you know, you guys know me by now, double-sided tape, you know, rank is hard to find. So I just made it out of paper, used double-sided tape, and put it on to the shoulder. I did it on both sides, so that worked out fine for me. Oh, I should mention, going back here, did the same thing to the, um, the trumpet up here on his hat, double-sided tape. 
and paper. It goes a long way. All right, so, oh, one last thing I should mention. With the shirt, sometimes when you have shirts that flare out at the end, they're like too wide, sometimes what I'll do is I'll kind of go around to the back of the shirt at the end of the sleeve and kind of indent it and pinch it and put some hot glue in between the pinch so it comes out a bit more tailored in terms of the look. Because when the sleeve is too wide, it just doesn't look as nice. So that's what I did here. So we'll turn him so you can see him from different angles. There's his rake, the canteen, which is appropriate to the time, is there. Oh, and um, I made a backpack. So this side definitely looks better than the other side. Uh, but I think that'll look really great on him once I you know, put leather shoulder straps on it. But I think that will look very good, you know, especially if you look from this side again. Hold on. It'll look really good. And this saved me a bit of money just to make it, you know, just take some leather. You know, I use some foam on the inside and then I used some material and just wrapped it up and then used some more leather to do some wrap around types of things. But I think that will look just fine when I'm done with it. All right, so we'll keep going around. There's the Sergeant Major rank on the other side. I am so happy with how this turned out. I love the pose too. So, he played a major role in the movie. Again, the, the sad thing about doing characters is that sometimes you can customize the figure you want, but you can't find everyone that you want. Um, Matthew Broderick, there's no head that I know of out there of him. So I don't think I can ever make him. Denzel Washington, the head skulls that are out there with him do not show him clean shaven. So that would be difficult to create him in terms of this movie. I could probably uh, do Carrie Elwes, Elways, I think that's his last name. He was the brother of who Matthew Broderick was playing because I do have a head of him. I would just have to cut the bun off of his head where his hair is put because he's part of the set that went with um, Princess Bride. So I could probably do him, but he's the only other character that I have a head that actually would work for this particular movie. So for now, I have to be content with Morgan Freeman, but he is such a great actor um, and played such a great role in this movie. I am exceptionally content with how this turned out so far. And when I'm done with him, I will be even more content. Anyway, I hope you like what you see. So here he is, and you can see a lot more details now. The union coat, the hat, the trumpet on his head, the medallion here. Here is the, uh, the sheath to the bayonet. Again, we'll look at it with a more close up. That would go on the musket there, if needed. His, uh, his belt says U.S. There's the percussion cap pouch, all right? And you can start to see the rank on the sides of his arm. Again, that's made out of paper and double-sided tape, just like the trumpet is. We can turn him around. You can see, hopefully, a few more things. 
the canteen comes more clearly into view. And this is where I, uh, I pinched the, uh, the material and put a little hot glue in there to make it look quite more tailored. The one thing here that frustrates me a little bit is that this pouch does not lay down nicely. I'm going to figure out how to settle that down a bit. That's the uh, cartridge pouch. All right. And that's pretty much it. I should have showed you a close up of this though. Let me go back here again. So if I were to, you know, put the backpack on, I need uh, leather straps to put around his arms though. But anyway, I thought this looked pretty good, you know? So we're almost there. We just need a little more work. All right, so now we'll get a real tight close-up of his face. Here's a wonderful close-up of Morgan Freeman from Glory. Here's one last look at our figure from Glory, Morgan Freeman. I hope you've liked what you've seen. And if you have, and hopefully learned some new things to do, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. In the meantime, everyone, have a great one.